and a grieving father speaks out. Tara wanted to do nothing more than be a police officer. The family of fallen police officer Tara O'Sullivan standing by the Sacramento Police Department. Tara O'Sullivan's father remembering his daughter as a young woman who died defending the city she fell in love with in college. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Curtis Ming. And I'm Sharon Roger. This was the first time we've heard from the family of O'Sullivan since she was shot and killed last week. CBS 13's Marissa Perlman is live in Sacramento. And Marissa, the father held it together, but we can't even imagine what he was going through. Clearly a lot of support, though, for this family tonight. Yes, Sharon, it was completely a packed room full of police officers, all literally standing behind the O'Sullivan family. There are blue ribbons here outside, all in support of the O'Sullivan's family and in honor of Tara. Dennis O'Sullivan, Tara's father, spoke about her love for this city and her dream working here with the Sacramento Police Department. The diversity, the waterways, the people, the restaurants, and the energy and excitement of this beautiful city. Just some of the things Tara O'Sullivan's father says his daughter loved about Sacramento and working for the police department. In a short press conference surrounded by family, friends, and police officers, Dennis O'Sullivan made his first Tara statement wanted... since his daughter was killed in an ambush while responding to a domestic violence call in North Sacramento last week. Dennis O'Sullivan says working for the police department was Tara's dream. He spoke about how grateful he is to the officers here and for the first time spoke about the circumstances surrounding her death, including accused suspected killer Adele Ramos. We are so grateful to the Sacramento Police Department, welcoming her with open arms and showing her nothing but love. Now, the investigation is still ongoing tonight, and we did learn this afternoon that the police department will be on the scene where this alleged murder happened now until the end of the week, collecting evidence. Meanwhile, the police department is planning a memorial service in Tara's honor. More information on that coming up in our next hour.